Hey YouTubers, I'm going to show you a simple little uh, uh, frets, uh, truss rod slotting jig that I made. You know, you might not think it's simple, but once you have a good look at it, you'll say, hey, I can make this. If I made it, you can make it. Anyway, all you do is get you some hardwood for the sides of it. The um, top is made out of some quarter inch aluminum. You can see right there. The aluminum about a quarter inch I went to a place and just had them slab me off a piece of aluminum I didn't cost very much ten fifteen dollars for that the bottom base of it it's made out of uh, nice thick plywood there's your sides we we're talking about they're hardwood one of the things you need to do when you put all this together you uh, make you a slot in this end right here Maybe you can see that. There you go. See that look? That's so you can s stick a wider piece of wood in there. Maybe like a, a uh, some strange instrument you're making with a big headstock up here. So you can do that. All right. So what you do is put your box together. Two sides and the bottom. Then you put your quarter inch aluminum piece in it. Route you out a piece in the a place a slot in the aluminum. You can do that pretty easy by just drilling, drill, 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 drill. Pretty soon you could get that cleaned out and then just take a file and clean everything out of it. Next thing you do, take you some quarter, not quarter, this looks like an eighth right here, angle aluminum. Put you a piece on the side just like this. Measure off the distance here for whatever cutting device you're going to use. I use a, uh, I use an old laminate, laminate trimmer like this. You can see how the laminate trimmer fits right in that slot right there. You just go, make your cuts, drop your uh, distance that you want to cut down. Little veining bit right there is all I use to cut truss rod slots. The, uh, clamp right here, a little small clamp is just a stop gu guide for ever how long a neck you're making, ever how long a truss rod slot you need to make. Uh, getting back to the aluminum on the top of it here, sorry about that, got away from that a little bit. Put your, put your side pieces like this. Then get you some thick quarter inch bar stock. You can get all this stuff just about at any hardware store you want to go to. Put your bar stock on here, drill you a couple of holes in the end, thread them, put you some little, I don't know, those aren't wing nuts, so what do you call those things? Put them in there. That way you can raise it up and adjust any way you want to the height here and on the other end. And that will give you your ski ramp that you need to cut your truss rod slot. So all you do, oh yeah, I've got this. Take you some, uh, get you some bolts. I don't know exactly what size bolts those are. Where's my wrench at? These are, let's see, let's say nine sixteenths on the ends. Get some T-nuts to put inside where the bolts go. I don't know if I can get a picture of the T-nuts or not. Yeah, you can see them down there. You screw them in. I would say that those probably need to be put in before you put it together because it's going to be kind of hard to get inside here and screw these down. But anyway, you can do that. That way, when you put your piece of wood in, um, all you do is just take your... This is a truss rod slot that I've already cut. You can see how pretty a slot it makes. It's just perfect. And all you do, slide your piece of wood in like so these off. Sorry for this uh, professional uh, photography work, but working on a budget, that's what you get. Back these off. And all you do is just bring your, tr bring your piece of wood up here. Mark the center of the truss rod slot. You can see how it goes right, just right there. See it moving? And when you put it in, you lock 
Let me lock this in right quick. Sorry about this. I'll just lock a middle piece in here. And you can see how easy it is to do. That was easy. And then you just take the other ones, push them in, and, and you can adjust your slot just by turning. See how that's moving? And you just turn it until it, it levels up. And that's the piece of wood in the slot. See how it's held in? I don't know why I made this thing so thick right here. I guess it could be a little thinner if you wanted it to, but you could, you could, I guess you could put a, a angled back headstock in it. There's enough room for that if you wanted to put your trap, uh, headstock back like that. Uh, most of the stuff I'm making here is just fender type stuff, bolt on necks and things. But anyway, after you get that together, You just put your trimmer in there or whatever whatever gadget you want to use to do your uh, to cut your slot just make sure you've measured the width off to put these two pieces in the outside guides and you turn the machine on and you make cuts you can make several cuts at a time I'll make a cut unlock it turn it down drop the bit down some more and then your stops bingo that's it you gotta stop here a stop there and when you pull it it's just like that I always take a uh, a uh, end of a vacuum cleaner said vacuum cleaner and just hold it as I'm moving it just right here with the thing and it keeps all the chips and stuff I, I cut I routed about five slots yesterday and you can see the bench is decently clean so it doesn't throw everything everywhere if you have a, a, uh, a vacuum cleaner there anyway I just want to show you this simple box it's easy to make. You could probably make this box for, what would you say, 50 bucks maybe? Maybe less than that if you've got some old aluminum sitting around. I used some real nice figured maple on this box. It's got some bird's eye in it and other things. I must have just, has a little, uh, has a little knot right there, so that's probably why I didn't use it to make a neck. But anyway, that's exactly how I slot necks. And there's a full length view of it. It's about, it's a good three feet long, I'd say. Hold it a second. Let me see if I got a measuring device. Yeah, hold on. Let's see exactly how long it is. Overall, 36 inches. Exactly. So here's a in view this side top this side and like I said all the uh, slots I cut look that good right there nice and clean you just put your slot in it's a Gibson style slot put your rod in send it down Take your, of course, piece of wood you want to put on it. I usually use just mahogany because it's easy to work and it'll give a little bit as you, as you squish it in there. Don't put your slot too tight because if the, fret, if the truss rod slot's too tight and you drive that piece of wood in, your spacer wood, I can guarantee you that if it's too tight, once you, once you uh, shape your neck, I've seen them split right along that cut if it's too tight because it'll just put the pressure outside and you will break the slot. So just, just fess it up. I, I took the neck the truss rod out of an old K guitar the other day. And believe it or not, in the truss rod slot, there was only a little piece of wood about that big that was making the entire truss rod work. And that didn't work very good, but I fixed the slot and made it a little bit better. We would have some better adjustment. I like to drop them down about a half an inch in the middle, bring them up on the ends, lock them in and uh, however you want to use if you want to use adjustment at the at this end or personally uh, I like I like the regular bullets up here only because you can get to them real easy I know all the old vintage guitars have it down here but I like bullets because I can just grab Allen wrench and adjust the neck just like that instead of taking it off and all this other stuff anyway that's my trust rod slot maker 
thought I'd share it with you. Thank you so much. <laughs>